Hello everyone, and I got me some good old Mountain Dew. Woohoo! <laughs> Mountain Dew! It's a uh, Liberty Mountain Dew for, you know, the holidays, which is uh, currently July 4th on its way. Anyway, let's head now to Gold Paul, I guess, because uh, we haven't been there in a while, and I feel like there's probably people to recruit, so let's go. Mm. Yep. There's a good couple. Alright. Some of them are just the, uh, what was it? Things are doing here. Uh. This is that delivery guy. Hey! Master Chow Chow Chow. How, for how fortunate to have encountered you, King Evan. I've been meaning to ask you, are how are the meat jackpots over in Evermore? Meat what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure I know what you mean. You have not, you know, yet had a chance to try one? That is a shame. After all, your friend did come all the way here to learn how to, to prepare that king among dishes. Oh. oh, I see. You must be talking about, you must be talking about Floyd. Thank you for being so kind to him. <laughs> it was my pleasure. I, I do not, I do not think I have ever met anyone who had so much appreciation for our, for our cuisine. <laughs> He's a man after my own heart. Uh, anyway, and such an exchange of knowledge is sure to strengthen ties between our two kingdoms even further. It's strange, though. Floyd hasn't mentioned anything about coming here. Okay. Well, I'm sure he does. He does not mean to keep his new friend, ex his newfound expertise, to himself. Why not speak with him when you next, when next you return, if you return home? Yes, I think I will. Let's hope Floyd has a freshly cooked meat jackpot ready for us when we get back to Evermore. Cool. Sure. Yeah. Secrets of the sauce of the Suahuas. And I'm here to recruit you, sir. Hello there. Uh, hello there. The taskmaster told me about how you had to run it, had run that little errand for me. Honestly, I would not. I would be totally lost without Swift Solutions and the helpful people who perform tasks for them. I mean, could you imagine if I had to gather my own medicinal mushrooms? Now, what can I do for you? Wait, do not tell me. You wish to wish to become my personal assistant, yes? Hmm? Oh, you wish for, for me to come and live in your kingdom? Ha! You must be joking! Talent such as mine does not come cheap, you know? Do you do you really think you can provide me with a fitting remuneration? Remuneration? Okay. For my incomparable services? <laughs> You do? Haha, -ha. then perhaps I had I'd better take you at your word. I shall look forward to working with you, little king. Hubble Bulbery, good, yes. Mm. Though to be honest, I would much prefer my talents to have earned me the right to retire by now. Well, all in good time. Just do not give me anything too difficult to do, alright? What? Alright. Okay. Um... Let's see... Who next? Wow, there's not many people. Actually, wait, there's probably more if I do... No, that's that's still Bobbly just sitting there. So let's see. I was about to say something, but I completely forgot. Ah yes. Hello. Ah, it is good to see you, Evan. Thank you for taking such good care of Chee Peachy. Actually, I've been thinking. I would like to move to your kingdom as well. I intend to work to earn my keep, of course. I hear that people from all over the world are flocking there, and they are sure to have brought all sorts of exciting plots and threads with them. <laughs> yes. I would dearly love to love the chance to work with such exotic materials. And besides, a good king, a good kingdom needs good seamstresses. This is true. Peachy is he is sure to enjoy the company too. I I will not let you down. I promise. Sweet. Will there be seamstresses there from other lands from whom I might learn new techniques and methods, I wonder? Yes. We will see you soon. We will soon see. I look forward to seeing you there, King Evan. <clears throat> okay, so because of how short that was, I guess we'll just head over to Capstone Pond Hole and then see if there's anyone there. Do -do 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 Alright. One, one. This place sucks. <laughs> so I'm quite sure there's a lot of people who have names here, like, do you have a name? <laughs> Never mind. 
Wait, what did you say? <laughs> did you, cool shipbuilder. Did you hear the Kiwi did when when the Bloxier scooter drooped back into the village? She gave she gave each of us and everyone uh, them a smack in the chops. Let's see if you can knock knock a bit of sense into you. She said, <laughs> "Good old Kiwi. She's she's the one." Oh yeah, she is. <laughs> Funny. Hi. Mushroom lover. I was right. I have to I have to help you with that. <clears throat> Hello, sir. What are you doing here? Isn't this place a little warm for you? I love the smell of the sea. It is sweet smell of victory. I don't like the look of this man. You know, you know what they say about folks who talk to themselves, ain't it? No, Lofty. What do they say about us, huh? <laughs> uh huh? Ah, it seems that the word of the rebirth of the mighty Pawa has spread. You have done well to seek me out. You mighty, um, who? Pawa, the greatest canine of them all, the hero of dog folk everywhere. His bark could shatter can continent con con continent continents, and his bite was even worse. He was a bona fide, bona fide legend. And now he has been reborn. Yes, you are looking at none other than the reincarnation of Pawa himself. Pawa. Hey, you are, Pawa, I guess. Gosh. Gosh, I suppose you must be very strong then. <laughs> very strong, Arthur. You have no idea, little boy. Still, it is always a pleasure to meet an admirer. These are the encounters that that make a pilgrimage such as this worthwhile. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Kiss, kiss this moment here by your, yeah. So you really reckon you're this Pawa bloke born again? Arthur, Arthur, you're not a little boy. It is quite noble to doubt one's. One's eyes when it's present, when in the presence of greatness. Fortunately, I am prepared to prove myself. I am prepared to recreate one of Power's most legendary feats, namely the single-digit smiting, smiting of the wolves. What? Single digit? You mean like a finger, ain't it? <laughs> exactly so. In days of yore, Power famously defeated a pack of wolves in that time with nothing but his little finger. And now I shall do the same, and there will be no doubt that I am indeed his reincarnation. I can wait no longer! Sweet victory beckons! Ah, woo! <laughs> if only furries were this, I don't know, dignified. <laughs> he's gonna murder himself, go! <laughs> mm. Off he goes, do you think he's going to try and poke some wolves? Sounds like it, yeah. Mind, mind you, the wolves he's, he'll find are probably, probably by your our hedgehounds. And I wouldn't like to see anyone take one take one of them with just with just a little finger. He'll get bitten off, man. We'll go we'll go and make sure he's all right and before something awful happens. You went wrong there. Reckon we should, yeah. Come on, my follow follow that dog. Oh man, here I was hoping that I'd get a recruit. All right then. Wolf wolf poker incarnate. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Actually, how far away is this? Yeah, let's just head outside the city limits and then we'll just fly on over. Mountain Dew. Mm hmm. Ready. Zippelan! Alrighty. Actually, what if we fought that dragon that's here? Let's see, what level was he again? 155? Eh, I got time. Hey, it's, uh. Do my it's it's Drake on.
proper nightmare. <laughs> Means that we're soaked. Does that mean anything? Fire. Ah! Jeez Louise! No, I guess I just need to roll sooner or something. There we are. I eventually learned. Wait, no. <laughs> I'll eventually learn. Oh shoot. <laughs> Five. Yes, good. That was so late. <laughs> that was the latest thing I've ever felt. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean that. Dang it. Let's try that again, my bad. Hey. Mm. There he is. But come any closer, it is far too dangerous. It's all right, we'll take things from here. You need to get yourself to safety. Yes, perhaps you're right. Careful, everyone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean. I did not mean to do that. Reach for the sky. Thank you, little boy. If you're not a tried when you did, well, I dread to think. It began as I intended, I led with my little finger, but I stubbed it rather hard, and well, the pain is, was excruciating. Hmm. Ouch, yes, that kind of thing can be awfully painful. Still, it was not a complete waste of time. The incident has shown me that I have a very long way before I can compare myself to the great Pawa. Thank Craggy for that, man. I mean, I know it's hard accepting your limitations and all that, but it's got to be done. It's Unless you end up with in more in more scrapes like this one. 
my pilgrimage is at is at an end. And I've decided to a bold new course of action. Join the military. I'm going to go home. Oh, well, good. Very sensible you are. Yeah. Truth is, I my claim of being an incarnation of power was made rather hastily. I should know. I should have trained harder in order to ensure that I had the physical capacity to back up my words. I do not re I do not return home with my tail between my legs. No, I go in order to gain my strength to back up my claim. One day I truly shall be as mighty as Powell himself, if not mightier. I can wait no longer! Sweet victory beckons! Oh, why is he not in my kingdom? <laughs> I don't care how regular looking he is, I want him. <laughs> Well, you can say, you can say what you like about him, Lofty, but he certainly isn't lacking in self-belief. You're not wrong there. Anyway, let's forget about Pow Wow for, Pow, Pow Wow for, for a moment. He, his name, his name, his name was, his name, or whatever his name was, and focus on our own adventure, shall we? We got plenty to be getting on with. Oh, Higgledy Stone. Uh, Leo. Let's talk about the cloth, the rough, papery, ready stuff. You know, the probably a good hardware and bag out of it. Hardy cloth that's fairly light, but tough enough to make to making into work clothes. Making into work clothes. It's so, like denim type thing. I mean, I don't know. Try offering up a piece of heavy-duty cloth. There's no response. It doesn't... Oh. Let's try that again, I guess. Plain cloth? Sack cloth. Rough spun. I guess this? Yeah, this stuff is made into bags. Jeez, wow. I'm an idiot. Let's do that one. There we are. Sweet. Mimbler or Mimber the Meanderer. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, we'll check him out some other time. Sweet. Alright, where to now? We're gonna have to head to I guess here, yeah? Yeah. Entrance. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Oh, hey! The taskmaster told me told me all about you. Rumor has it that you that you're looking to hire an executive producer for an all-star show. That can be that can be right. Can? <laughs> hey, only kidding. You want me? You want me to move to Kingdom? Right. I'd be happy to. But seriously, it's good to hear that that you have a theater. We we don't want we don't have one here in Broadleaf. It's a cultural wasteland. Anyway. It's always been my dream to produce a, a big show at some fancy Thank venue. You. And now it sounds like I might even get my chance. Thank you so much. Man, a savior's tear. Wow. Uh, now the only question is what kind of show to put on? Opera? Musical? If you have any, have any questions, just say the word. I don't mind opera, actually. Opera would be nice. Hello? Bye. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, so that's Midtown. Okay. Midtown girl. She be living in her Midtown world. I bet she never had a a gutter guy, a sewer guy. <laughs> I bet her mama never told her why. Hmm. I really can recruit another robot. Yeah. Bleep. Bleep, man. This ain't my bloopin' day. Yeah, you're looking pretty bloopin' quick with your bleepin' feet. You do fancy making a delivery too. 
<laughs> hey, Nickman, they're sophisticated you are. What a turn of a phrase. Beautiful it is. Don't take the Mickman. I was programmed this way, ain't it? And some folks here find me a bit, find me a bit bleep and rude, and I can blow up and help it. He, he, peep up. I don't know. I, I didn't know robots could laugh. Well, we blipping well, can can all rage well now. Now ain't got time to stand around blooping. I got, got more important things to be worried about. See, I got your your great pile of sizzling steak to deliver by your and the bleeping light speed logistics systems. That, this was only gone. The blooping crashed on me again. <laughs> Still, suppose we can't we can't uh, can't all be paragons of mechanical virtue, eh? Hey, people, <laughs> paragons indeed. Just listen to it. Anyway, like I say, the bleeping system's down, and I need I need help delivering these bleep these bleeping steaks. It should be bleeping, but all right. You don't need to be quick, mind. They don't stay sizzling for long. All right. All right, I'll we'll do our best. That's brilliant. That's what I like to hear, man. Right, you've got three deliveries, three minutes to do them in. Any longer than that, these steaks will by you. It'll be no, no good for bleeping nothing. I mean, except for like shoe leather, right? And I can't, I can't go around advertising sizzling steaks if they turn up cold and tough in old blood and boots now, can I? If yeah, three minutes runs out, come back, buddy, and I'll cook you up another batch. Just don't waste too, too bleeping many, all right? Now that I am expecting miracles, it's your first time, so get, get them's, get them's there's the main thing. Right, oh, looks like you're all set. Just say the word, and I'll hand over the blooping goods. Sweet. Eh, hey, oh, be you ready to go on air? Let ready. <laughs> We need to get on a delivery run, are we? Are we just uh, full of bloopin' beans, beans that are anyone's uh, wait. Your first customer is young bloke who's a bit full, too full of bleeping beans for anyone's bloopin' good. And he'll be set up at the big tree in the path directly above here. Next one's an older lady, not that old, mind, and a proper chirpy and one of that. Directly yourself at the tables at a redwood retreat. Last, and very much, and very much least, is... There's a right to bleep and fussy so and so of a lad hangs out right here up in the highest point in, in all of Broadleaf. So that's three deliveries in three minutes to finish him in. Got it? Good. Boop, boop, beep, beep. Right, oh, let's head to, let's head to the bleep road. Three, two, one, go! Let's off! <laughs> and I'm liking this. Ah, ah, ah. Should I talk to this guy? Sure, why not? Uh. Well, well, you sure know how to keep a guy waiting, don't you? It's a good thing I ate ate my mom's slice of meat pie while I was still warm, because it'd be ice cold by now if I'd waited. Anyhow, let's go to the chase. The taskmaster tells me that that you're that you're trying to get me to put put in for a transfer to your kingdom. He also said you'd been going around to the treehouse helping out folks who are who were in trouble. It sounds to me like like we're like we share a passion for public service. And after you after what you did for me back back there with that monster, there's no way I I'm about to turn you down. Probably guess that my specialty is in law enforcement, but I know I know how to handle myself on the battlefield too. Feel free to deploy me on a maneuver or two. <laughs> Not that I'm a, I'm about to buck buck the chain of command and tell you what to do, of course. Looking forward to serving under you, sir. So we got more CEOs. Well, uh, so that's a uh, he's a hammer dude. That's fine. One request though, if I if I may, you might have heard a thing or two about being hard-headed maverick who. Will do anything to crack a case? Well, no? You ever heard of such a thing? No? Huh? Ah, well, forget I said anything. Guess I'll be moving now. Uh, I'll, I'll be I'll be back at base awaiting orders, sir. There you go. Handed over the three minute steak delivery. <laughs> Woohoo! My, st my steak's here, man! I w you won't. <laughs> you, won't be you won't believe how long I've been waiting for this! Surely, I've been drooling so hard, these things are insane! Thanks for bringing it to me, kid. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to chow down. Hello, Eli. Ah, bonjour to you, Monsieur Evan. I, I have, uh, I've been keeping an eye on, on all your philanthropy, and I, and I say, I, I am très impressed. Très means very. <laughs> every time, every time I come up to the old no trains in, in Broadleaf, your name comes up. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. There is there's nothing more chic than a king who knows how, how to help a proletariat, oh, eh? 
<laughs> Sorry, my French isn't good. <laughs> my French is not good at all. <laughs> and you made it look so cool when you're doing it. You have given the world and all, all that's, uh, uh, given the world and all those uh, new fashion ideas. But Monsieur Evan, listen to me, il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, I'll, I have a favor to ask you. I would like to become a subject of your new kingdom, Monsieur! <laughs> Sacre bleu! Just imagine mon petit roi! Alright, mm, ma, mon petit. Is it, it's not Roy, it's like Roy. Roch. Ma petit roch, I guess. I'm guessing. You will have the finest and most fashionable robes of any king in all of history. Allow me to live with you, Monsieur Evel, and your, and your kingdom will be a fashion destination par excellence. So, so decide to be formidable. Now, now I must say merci beaucoup. Thank you very much for this opportunity and au revoir. Hello. Cafe regular. Hey there, King King of Evermore. You know, I've been watching you running around the place, helping people, helping people all over the place, and I've been getting worried about you burning out. Are you making sure you eat, eat right? Thanks, man. Thanks. Oh, you, you don't need to worry about me. I'm things things have been very busy, but everyone's been kind enough to make sure I'm eating properly. Wow, that's good to hear. Nobody here in Broadleaf wants our nation's savior to be to be so rushed off his feet that he can't even. They can't eat a eat a balanced diet. Oh, while you're while you're here, there's something I wanted to ask you. Have you heard of the buyer with that that chef back there? Is like, what the bleep? What is that king doing over there? He's supposed to be going out to deliver stuff. He's just standing there talking to the bleep and redhead ginger hair and not no soul fool of the of the cafe. <laughs> She's uh, I just wanted to ask you. Have you heard of the of the buyer we have around here? She's kind of a legend. Mm -hmm. Um, I no, I don't think so. Well. Really? Well, her, na her name's Morgan, and she, she can spot a hot new trend from miles away. As soon as there's a cool new product on the market, it's uh, there and snap it up. Anyway, there's a rumor going going around that she's picked up some super item stuff that nobody's ever seen seen for sale in any store. I just thought that you might be interested in something like that. <gasps> super items? There's intriguing. Re reckon we better go and have a word with this Morgan, eh, Evan? All right. Yes, and if she's talented, as our friend here says, perhaps she can convince we can convince her to come to Evermore. Hehe, <laughs> piqued your interest, huh? Well, if you want to talk to her, you, she should uh, be over in Sequoia Self Defense. Seems seems she had some business to attend the, to there. Oh, right, uh, Sequoia Self Defense. Here we come. Oh yeah, I remember her. Alrighty. World's best buyer. Excellent. Dun 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 At first I was like, wait a minute. Uh let's see. Here we are. I think there was one in the downtown. And besides, Southern tells me we'll have enough time anyway. It's like... Uh, let's see. Okay. Whoa, jeez! Did anyone else see that? Did anyone else see that? <laughs> it's like I just unpaused it, like, and I was like, ah! <coughs> Hello, ma'am. <laughs> it's here! My sizzling steak is here at last! Honestly, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that these steaks are what I live for, and that taste is to die for. Thank you, young man. You've, you've no idea how happy you've made me. Good luck with the rest of your deliveries. Aye, aye. So, Evan, can you do any, like, telewarps? Like, ever again? Maybe if I... So I was like this, and then... Oh. Uh, I don't know what did it then. It's just so weird. It was like suddenly it's like pew. I was like, oh god. <laughs> uh, 
uptown girl. She's been living in her uptown world. I bet she never had a backstreet guy. I bet her mom's never told her why. I'm gonna try for an uptown girl. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Hello, kid. Is this is this stick a little too big for you, little man? What that? Am I the fussy kid who ordered a steak? Well, yeah, I guess I am. So if if what if what you give me doesn't meet my exact exacting standards, I'll be sending it back, right back. Now let's see. Oh, this is just perfect. It's still sizzling hot. This is going to be delicious. I just know it. Thanks. There's nothing like a nice juicy steak. Tidy. That's all the delivery's done, and in and inside the time limit too. Phew. I really didn't think we'd managed manage it. I must say. Evan, you have to have more faith in yourself, honestly. <laughs> Well, manage it you did, and those were some properly satisfied customers and all. And let's head back and uh, as well-spoken robot friend, shall we? Mm. All right. The uh, quote-unquote well-spoken robot. <laughs> Hello. Hey there. Oh, hey. Perfect timing. Wait, are you are you to take part of that trial, right? The trial? What kind of trial might that be? A clinical trial, of course. Well, a dietary one, to be precise. I'm an nutritionist, and, and it's my job to make sure everybody in Broadleaf Incorporated is eating healthy and healthy. Eating as healthy and efficiently as possible. Oh, oh um, a nutritionist, you say? I swear to have before getting a special way down is an ultra nourishing meal that fits right into your pocket. It's a Nutriblam! And it's gonna be a game changer! It's crammed with every nutrient going and eating. Every nutrient going and eating it gives you a burst of explosive energy like nothing else. It's good for the body and for the soul. Unlikely. Like I say, totally revolutionary. Golly, that really does sound quite impressive. And um, how does it taste? <laughs> Well, we won't we won't know that until we begin the trial. What do you say? Wanna be the first to test subject? First oh I'm I'm already full of energy. I don't need any more, honestly. I'm sure you can find someone better to try it on than me. Hmm, guess you're right. We won't see any really convincing results unless people are super run down. Alright, how about <clears throat> how about we put all this energy of yours to good use? I've been thinking we could give the stuff uh, more of a kick if we if we had some death breath garlic. Five bulbs ought to do it. What? what? Won't that be a little overpowering? Heh, only one way to find out, unless you change your mind uh, about trying some right now. Uh, no, um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yes, these I do. Ooh, rocket fuel. No. I do not, I do not have that. I do not have this. Because <laughs> I don't have anybody in those gardens yet. It's just like, it's just not enough people, really. <laughs> Hello. Man, this is like super not cool. What am I supposed to do now? Um, is there anything I can help? Whoa! Uh, what are you like, my guardian angel or something? Hey, wait, there's something special about you. You got, you've got a really groovy aura. Anyway, yeah, there's something, there's something you can, you can do to help. I'm looking for a screw, a certain very special screw. Mm -hmm. Screw? Have you left it somewhere or something? Mm -hmm. No, not exactly. I kind of dropped it. It's probably rolled all the way to downtown by now. Flippin' down, flippin' Ekman! How many floors is that? What are you gonna... Uh, three. I mean, not including this one or downtown, it's just one. Anyway, doing, doing dropping stuff that people could go tripping up and breaking their necks, eh? Yeah. I don't have a cow, man. I didn't do it on purpose. Anyway, what's done is done. There's no point in crying over spilt screws, right? So will you get it for me? You will, right? I I don't <clears throat> I don't have time to be scour scouring every inch of floor I, to find it. Mm -hmm. How hard can it be? Of course we'll help you. We'll go and have a look and see what we can find. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, man. I knew as soon as I saw you that you were the kind of guy who'd, who'd help a guy out. Downtown's right at the bottom of the tower. It's, I'd start searching there if, if I were you. No. <laughs> Not quite yet. But we don't have that person's dream prism as of yet. That was just downtown, right? I think it was, yeah. Was it midtown? Dang it, it was midtown! Aw, oh, man. I'll turn around. Okay, here we are.
back in and looked like you delivered the briefing goods all and all deity. Mm. We did indeed. Susan hot steaks for everyone. Eep, 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 that's a blooping spiritman. I, mm. I knew I picked the right lad for the job. Right, oh, I'd better give you something for the all your hard work, ain't it? To right to have. Come on, hand it over. What's it by? What is it, by the way? Oh, eep, eep, it's only a sample of doing my specialty, the executive blooping steak. Executive steak. That's right, man. It's pretty much the tastiest thing in the whole bleeping world. But don't have my word for it. President Vector Bloopin' loves the things. Nice. Oh, thank you. This is really ever so kind of you. Beep beep beep. Least or TP. Least I can do, man. Least I can do. Right, oh, pop by again, and no more deliveries next time. Now nah, you're getting a slap up meal on the house. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Thank you. I'm the bleeping best, ain't it? Ta ta for now. I think that's almost everyone? Yeah, there's like still some quests are going on in here. Alrighty, so let's deal with that screw, I guess? No, let's deal with the, um, where's Sequoia Defense? Here it was. <clears throat> nope. It was this, this, this. There we are. The secrets of the sauce. Alright. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. We were told that Morgan often visits the shop. Boop boop, sorry, but I'm afraid I haven't seen her for a while now. Perhaps she's probably off in some distant kingdom buying up rare materials. I see. Do you have any idea which kingdom, perhaps? Maybe. Well, she did say something about going to a town with a harbor. Maybe that's that's where she is. Couldn't say for Thank certain. Thank you. Town with a harbor. All right, thanks. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, don't just run off yet. Why don't you check out this stuff for yourself first? Morgan stocked us up with some cool stuff before she disappeared. Sure, whatever. Bye. Boo! 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 Garbage, I'll tell you what. Alright. <laughs> okay. Actually, is there a limit to my bag? I feel like that there is. Like, how many weapons I can have. Yep, 300, that's my max. Yep, yep. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm gonna hit that max anytime soon. Thank goodness. Okay, um... Okay, let's head over here. Oh, she's on the other side. Or, someone's on the other side. Honestly, the talk of steaks is actually getting me hungry for steaks, but then again, I still love pizza. Pizza! Hello! <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what I'd do without you, Morgan. I didn't I didn't think me seaweed were, were worth aught, but, not, but now it's bringing me a right nose pile of cash thanks to you. Hey, don't mention it. It's a pleasure doing business with you as always. Let's talk again next time. I'm in town. Okay. Hey. Yeah, can I help you? Oh. You're Morgan, aren't you? From Broadleaf? The one who buys wonderful things from all over the world? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Guess that, is, guess that is me. Just, but listen. If you're looking to trade, you should know I don't do business with just anybody. I'm the king of Evermore! <laughs> hmm? Oh, really? 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 See, my line of work is all about figuring out what people want and finding it for them. I need to know that the the people I deal with are on my wavelength, you understand? Otherwise, I'd just be wasting my time. I see. And how would I go about proving that? Simple. Show me that you have the eye for quality by picking out the most valuable thing I'm carrying and buying it from me. Sure, value is kind of subjective, but some things are equally prized the world over. So just pick out what you think is my best piece of merchandise, hand over the cash, and we'll see, we'll see if you can if you and I can work together. Gosh. Gosh, well, alright then. Suppose it, I can't, it can't hurt to give it a try. Yeah. 
Hey, no need to look so nervous. I wouldn't even give you the test if I if I didn't think you were up to it. After all, you're Evan Pettywhisker Tilder, founder of Evermore. Oh, you do know me. I'm pretty sure you have an eye for quality. Mm. Oh dear, I I don't deal well with this kind of pressure. All right then, Morgan. Let's see what you, what items you got. Yeah. I need to see if anybody I can do it. Pick up the most most valuable thing I'm carrying. See if we're on the same wavelength. Anything else I can do for you? Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bingo! This songbook is highly prized. Uh, <clears throat> Bingo! The songbook is highly prized in all kingdoms of the world. I knew you had an eye for quality merchandise. <laughs> but I just chose the thing with the highest price tag in. Thanks a lot. Great doing business with you. Let's do this again sometime, okay? Excuse me. Well, uh, I didn't actually come here to do business with you, Morgan. I, I, I'm coming to invite you to, to move to Evermore. That's right, man. That's right, man. One look at your wares was enough to convince us that you're a traitor like no other. I mean, I think mine are slightly better. I mean, it's just that I just have. It's just that you had a songbook. <laughs> hey. Right. So you're headhunting me, huh? I'm honored and everything, but you'll need to do more than just ask. How about you bring me a sundalion? Then I'll think about it. They grow someplace way up high in the rolling hills. Apparently, I've never been able to get my hands on any, even with all my connections. Mm. Hmm, if it's very high up, we might better off flying there. Hey, I don't care how you do it, but if you can get me some, I'd be, I'll be impressed. I'll be here in Capstan for a while. Come back and see me once you've had a... When you've hit pay dirt. Come back and see me once you've hit pay dirt. Um, okay. <laughs> World map. I shouldn't have done that. I should have teleported closer. Nah, whatever. I don't care! Am I supposed to fight that thing? Oh, the heck with it, why not? was unnecessary. Turned back some of our guilders from that from that book we bought, song book we bought. Eh, I'm bored. I want to fight these guys. Yeah. 
using the closet bow. Hmm, cool. Um, maybe up here? Watch your backs! <laughs> So many of them. Usually all you have to do is look for like a blue sparkle on the ground or something. Hmm. Maybe over here. Wait, was that? in the face is felt so good. I think I missed it. Okay. I keep on saying like like a blue like a random blue flower petal that's like floating around and I'm like, is that it? And I'm like, no it's not, jeez. Like more over here. I honestly do not remember. Fine, gosh. Come on. Alright. Ow. Somewhere. Ah, there, I see it. I'll get this chest real quick and proper too. Oh, the songbook, sweet. Let's head back to Capstan Pond Hole. Capstan Pond Hole. <laughs> Whee! Oi. Yeah. If you want to head on the uh, let's see. Some dandelion. Mm. I have to say, it looks like an old dandelion to me. Why, why were you so keen to get a hold of one, Morgan? Good question. See, you used to be able to fi find them all over the Sequoia Valley. Gosh. But, yep, not anymore, though. Uh, I'm not. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that if I give this to research guys back in Broadleaf, they might be able to find a way to reintroduce the species to the area. Wait, Sequoia Valley? That's the valley that's near. This is near Broadleaf, right? Oh, oh yeah, with all the nasty stuff going on, yeah. Right. Hmm. Anyway, never mind that now. You you brought me what I asked for. Guess I'd guess I'd better stick to my side of the bargain. Yes. 
I said I said I'd think about moving to Evermore, right? Well, I thought about it. I thought about it. I decided it's a great idea. I'm going to help help all your stores stay stocked with the coolest products. Cool. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Morgan. That's wonderful news. Hey. No problem. It's always nice to find somebody new to do business with. And I'm gonna stick you in the bazaar. Excellent. Okay, let's see, what else we got? There's still that one. Exemplary armor, still working on it. Got some slices of rose hip tart. Where do you get that again? Shoot. Hmm. Track down mushrooms. So I should probably work on clearing up that, like, that's a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> like, let's go to Floyd, you know? Yeah, let's go to Floyd. Alrighty. Floyd, me boy. Whew. We've been doing a lot. Still doing a lot. Wow, it's insane. I also want to apologize, like, um... Like, I was, like, I'm trying to assemble the playlist of the Nina Kuni videos, but they're just so insane. Like, I'm telling you, like, like, for some reason, like, some of them, like, refuse to, like, when I'm uploading, I can choose to put it into the playlist, but some of them refuse to even have the option to go into a playlist until after, after I upload them. I'm like, I don't know what changed, but alright. And then, like, and then I have to, like, do it afterwards or something. Hello. Hello, Floyd. I saw Mr. Master Chow Chow, not so long ago, and he said that he taught you the recipe, uh, something called Meat Jackpot? <laughs> oh no, I've been rumbled! Oh my! You rumbled? What do you mean? You, you weren't gonna tell anyone? No, no, you don't understand. I just needed some time to perfect the recipe, that's all. Uh... I still haven't quite managed to match the taste of the ones they serve in Sweet Saffron, you see. I'm almost there, it's just... It's just there's something about the sauce. I haven't managed to... to get that perfect balance of... Of spice and sweetness, right? There, there really, there really is nothing like it. I think I've worked, I've worked out why, what I need to make the magic happen. But unfortunately, I don't, I don't have the right, the right ingredients. Oh. So that's what, well, the mysterious behavior was about. I'm sorry to, to have been so suspicious, suspicious of you, Floyd. Well, why, why, why don't I make it up to you in getting the ingredients you need for the sauce? You'd do that for me, Your Majesty. I'll do anything for you, Floyd. Honestly, your greatest, your greatest king a cat could, could ever hope for. That was for some reason a little tricky. All right, we'll need to start with the most important ingredient in any good rest in any good sauce: apples. Mm -hmm. Apples, really? Oh yes, and the apple I have in mind is a very special one indeed. It's it, it's grown in rich fertile soil and bathed in hundreds of hours of golden sun sunlight to, to bring out its sweet deliciousness. Yes. I'm talking about a honey apple. Sounds like a Honeycrisp apple, and those are my favorite apples. They grow in the mountains near Ding Dong Dell. Nothing else will do, Your Majesty. I simply cannot make any sauce, make my sauce without one. You'd be so good as to fetch me one while you're gone. I'll, I'll go over the other ingredients I'm going to need. Mm. All right, one honey apple coming up. Should we do it? Does this town need any, need any more help with stuff? It does. Okay then. The thing about it, I need to start working on things. How are our taxes doing? Oh, it's full. I wish I didn't do that. Wow. Yep. Wow, indeed. And the stores are not full, which is great. Look at all of it. Got all kinds of octopuses, splendid fish, you know. Cool stuff. Got some eggs. Got some stuff in this stuff. Fluffy cloth, footman's brocade. Night stuff. Uh, let's see. Got some winter moon buttons. I'm surprised we only got the one, which is a bit of a shame. Ooh, nocturnium, wow. Fine green lumber. This is like where some of the more rare stuff is down here. And we got seven enigma crystals and three dream prisms. All right, well, we need to take care of that now. Sweet. Uh-huh. Sweet. Managed Kingdom, because now we have more people, let's start putting them in the places where they're supposed to. So we got some people for the Hubble Bulbury, Dashing, and Mylas. 
Sorcerer's Ink Juice and Cauldron Sense. Good. Alright. So what research can I have them do now? Advanced quality control? No. Uh, staff member knows sorcer Sorcerer's Instincts. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we don't have enough IQ for Jane. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Something tells me that as they level up, they'll be they'll soon change, because I mean, look at that. It's like 487, and I need like 500. It's like, I'm close anyway. So let's see, let's start dealing with this one. I feel like we'll get hedge magic really soon. It's just that I'm a little hesitant to keep, to just go barreling into do, doing some stuff. All right. You know what? Let's yeah, let's do this. Cool. Ultimate command post efficiency. Perfects frontline support, so command posts add a lot more military might. Ultimate guts getting. Okay, so that greatly increases how fast the guts gauge fills. Air of danger. Oh. More spoils of war. Hmm. Let's level it up one more time. Yeah, I think we can do it. Should be just fine. Okay, and this will be... This is the last, so let's see. Research? Ultimate command post defenses. Well, that's cool. But we don't have that IQ going right now. Alright, let's get these guys doing this. What you guys got? Ultimate skirmish experience has been completed. Excellent. Level facility? Sure. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Cool. Let's see here. Can I level this up one more time? Shoot. Keep on missing it. 280. Dang it. <laughs> it's because there's just so much stuff that I want to do, and then I end up just spending it all. Ultimate construction efficiency. Ultimate resource gathering. Sure, yeah. Let's also throw in our new found friend, Morgan. And let's see here. We had some people for the mine, I believe? I can't remember. Oops. Shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Let's take these. Uh huh. Okay, let's see. Fisheries? I think we got some people for the fisheries. Yes we do! Sibylla! And you're all just one happy little family. And then there's Pontus. <laughs> uh... So what can I make right now? Not a lot. So if I just level it up once... Cool. Now it's at its max. What can it give us? Limpfish. Good. We need that. Uh... At least for a... Uh, mission. Let's see here. Um, let me actually look at citizens because we got a couple of new guys. Yep, yep. You are going to be outfitters. Shoot, I did it again. Personnel. Oh. Huh. Wow. <laughs> no. Yes. Thanks. Friggin' yikes. So we got all kinds of people here now. That's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, research. Staff, staff member knows sense of style. There we are, so we're doing good on that. 
Do not have creative flair. for the second person. There we go. Uh, let's see. Perfects technique boosting quality of armor and accessories made by one. Okay. 22 minutes. That's probably the fastest I've ever seen because we have like six people working in there. Alright, do I have anyone who I can put in here? Bracken would be suitable, but she's busy right now. So... Hmm. Let's see. Brute strength. Hmm. Guess that one's just gonna have to wait a bit. Let's see... Who else has not been assigned? Four people that haven't been assigned. That's actually a lot. Beast work at barracks. So barracks, garden, training grounds. It's uh, Institute of Innovation. Okay. Shoot, I already like have like assigned people uh -huh. in these. Or I, I've already done research in like started researching in all those places. That sucks. Like, yeah, these people are already well and on it. Let me, stick, let me stick someone in here, and at least I'll remember, you know. Uh, let's see. Dang it. We can't do it right now. <sighs> I just have to wait. Huh. Well, that's my bad, so that leaves, like... Two people that can't go in. So there's one more. Garden. Alright, let's toss him into the garden. Now, which garden though? Because I mean, like, what is this one? Yeah, this is in the garden, so never mind. Um... at least stick someone into the one that I know for sure is working really well. What is in this one? Not as much as I'd hoped, actually. Let's take people in here. Let's just get it working again. Okay, and just... So they're gonna be just getting these regular stuff for a bit. Let's see how much money do I have. Uh-huh. Still can't do it. How much does it need? Jeez. Ridiculous. Alright, never mind then. So it's gonna have to wait. Actually, now I think about it. I didn't look all the way over here. There we are. It's so far out of like the way that I just don't know. It's a, I keep on forgetting it exists. So I can either do that. Nope, I can only do one of these. So let's get that. Uh... Actually, wait. You're gonna need more people with more higgledy intelligence going on. 459? Sure. Cindy? Candy, rather. Let's get a little more... No, that's probably it. Okay. Let's see. 
Uh-huh. Great research. So now we can definitely do this one. Sweet. Well, I cut down to 45 minutes. Oh, I got a message. Something. Materials built. Huh. Give me a second, hold up. Materials build. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, I'd say we should end this episode here. We, we've done we've done a lot of good stuff. Now I'm just texting now. I may as well just stop. Ah, oh, jeez, one hour. Yeah, I should have stopped a long time ago. My gosh, I'm sorry.